Right. Gav said that Otto might know something. Paul said it was an army of attrition. How are we supposed to do our duty when the hill... God? But if you're here, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. I shall already have read it. I'd better keep looking. Tells me Mid won't be needing these. Uh, I know this is your hideaway, but uh, you really shouldn't be in here. That leather loosener was only the first of the discoveries the Olympic's gonna help us make. Just you wait, Sid. Just you wait! We've had no word from Canva for days. Please tell me Mid is all right. I remember seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. I wonder if it was Mids. Huh. What's this tucked inside it? Sid's best invention. Huh. That sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestra. She couldn't have been more than, what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. We should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box have to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another.
How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are cold? Cole said it was an army of Akashi. What will happen? I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break the orchestra. <sighs> What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this? Nope. Nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. Like this. See? All too well. All right, out of the way. Started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Just the two I was looking for. Aye, aye. Who's the patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelis before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. And if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? Don't waste here. The further the flagship sails, I have to get back.
right, Clive. My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The Iron is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas Tharm? Only what the bards sing. And he sailed to ash from southern lands. But it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this cove was meant to be hidden! Ugh. Mid! Company! Hey? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready. But hurry! Bullets! All hands! Man your station! Everyone with me?
That was easy enough. All right, you lousy lot. Get your asses on board. She's ready to sail. You heard the captain. <laughs> Clive? But I thought he was... Confounded. Then it is as I feared. Sleipnir is no man, but the creation of Odin. His fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rosfield? My boy, there was a time people called me the executioner. Or was it my eyes? No matter, heads will roll all the same. Mate, new plan! You leave! We follow! Hello! Swimming, are you? Oh, bugger me! Play anchor! Engine dead slow ahead! Have care, my friend. It is not blood that runs through an Eddie's veins. These foes will not fall easily. But they will fall. Like oaks before a woodman's axe. Good thing I brought one! How long are we meant to keep this up? As long as it takes. Unless you have a better idea. Well, I've already killed at least five of the bastards. Fuck it. Let's do the lot.
What do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. You are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. <laughs> You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandalar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. Cheerio! <laughs> 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 <sighs> Do keep up, my boy! Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. What have I done? <sighs> Lord. <laughs> <laughs> 